So I wasn't going to do a walk today of Gabby. Kind of feeling a little bit tired, but I had to go to the post office. So I figured I'd take the opportunity to do that and then uh, get some caffeine fortification at Starbucks. And then uh, while we were out, what the heck. So doing a low impact park today. Uh, in Upper Arlington, it's called Thompson Park. Uh, so I'm kind of sticking to the interior of the park, and I'm letting the dog walkers have the pathways. Come on. just don't feel like getting into any dog issues today and Gabby's been pretty good but she's already checking out this one dog Swimming. she gets kind of amped up whenever she sees a dog walking It's a big enough park that I can just kind of walk out of the way. I've been many hours in this park over the years. This is where my son had his home field for, uh, well, I guess first it was Kiwana soccer and then select soccer. So, I remember this park quite well. I just had something flash in my head. I was here uh, waiting in the car for him to do his practice. A huge thunderstorm hit. And uh, we kind of didn't know where each of us were. And uh, I was getting kind of frantic looking for him. It's a fairly large park. He didn't know where his uh, team's field was that day. Um, so I'm walking around kind of in this area over here. I was parked where I am right now over there. So I walked way over here and I'm yelling his name in the rain and stuff. And there's no one around and it's getting dark and I was getting kind of weird. He was kind of young too. Um, we just had mixed signals on where we were going to meet. He thought I was going to meet on that road over there. And I meant we were going to meet over here. And I kind of had a suspicion of that, which is why I got out of the car. Um, I had a poncho, so I didn't get too wet. But by the time I found him, by the time I found him way over there, he was soaking wet and crying, and it was miserable. It was one of those parental experiences that uh, gives you a heart attack and you're going to remember for the rest of your life. But otherwise, have yeah, memories here. Lots of soccer, barbecues. Uh, I think I had the opportunity to bring a dog here before, so this is the first dog you Wow, check this out. I've seen this once before at this park. It gets really flooded when we get a lot of rain. Looks like a lake. 
Shift Lake. Pretty crazy. Yeah, this is usually not here. This is uh, just a little wooded area that gets totally flooded. I see a bunch of ducks back there, so I guess this is by nature that happens. Wondering if my uh, audio is going to be kind of whooshy. It is, you won't be seeing this. Grass. In the summers, my kids would uh, come here for day camp. Actually, a lot of up Arling activities I experienced at this park. There's a big old shelter up that way that they'd have uh, a potluck for the soccer team each year. They'd cook out dogs and burgers and the kids would have games and stuff. It's actually, uh, considering my antisocial tendencies at those kind of things, it was actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. The kids always loved it. It's like we've got a baseball game going on over, over yonder. Where are you going, girlfriend? She always has different ideas. It's actually uh, Harry's old coaches right there. My sons, they've been around forever because he started when he was a uh, knee high to a grasshopper. If people still use that term. We're gonna stumble in onto this uh, uh, baseball game here after I uh, clean up a potty break by the Wonder Girl. Come here, yo. You guys are lucky there's no smell of vision yet. That was a ripe one. Good girl. I think Daddy worked for it. This looks like girls' softball, maybe? I'm not wearing my glasses, so it's kind of hard to tell. Nah, I can't tell from here. Here, Gabby, wait a minute, okay? You gotta do something with this. Uh oh, 
we're rolling. We found something fun. Get in there. Get in there and get it. Yes. Yes. Was that fun? Going for a score. Almost. I gotta go over that line. Come on. Come on, come on, Score. Debbie wins. So what's this garbage can over there? filming these in uh, horizontal format so the video is bigger, which is great. But I have a tendency of putting my finger over the lens. It's not as comfortable to hold while I'm walking the doggy. I do have uh, this thing's called selfie sticks. Or at least one. I don't know if that would be any better. Probably more to drag. not to get as many steps in on these city park walks because uh, there's so many interesting smells for Gabby to stop at that we uh, tend not to move pretty fairly quickly through the, the walk. Um, since I started working I've been uh, doing at least 10,000 steps a day um, just running around a uh, two-floor building for uh, 10 hours and uh, it's definitely showing its benefits and it's definitely showing its drawbacks. I noticed I uh, started having some pain in one of my knees. Um, Sounds pretty impressive somehow. And uh, it also counts staircases. And we have a one staircase in our practice. It has the layout and the break room and the bathroom and oh the doctor. 
doctor's office up there, so I'm always going up and down the stairs. I could go up, up and down the stairs 20 or more times, and uh, Dom really likes when I do that. If I can figure out how to do it, I'll do a screen capture one day and throw it into a video. It shows uh, calories expended and miles walked and time moving and blah 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 um, it's not 100 percent accurate at all times because if you had it 100 percent accurate you burn your battery out real quick uh just walking around with it in your pocket all day but uh, i'm satisfied with it I go to my doctor at the end of this month and she says, what have you been doing? I, all I have to do is whip out my pedometer app and show her the graphs. Activity. I want to make sure I'm doing things the right way. I'm always concerned about my joints giving out. My muscles are doing fine. Uh, occasional backache now and then from lifting a bunch of stuff some days. Uh, there's a dog, big dog coming this way, so we're going to cut across the field. Come on, girl. I'm also finding since I started doing this gig that I have trouble sitting still for very long. I get used to the activity and I, I just I find it difficult just to sit down and relax, but I think that'll wear off after a while. Um, it's a carryover from my mom's uh, passing in December when I uh, just went totally mad cleaning her place. It's not terrible though, I kind of like, I kind of like the rush of activity. Um, slow, when it slows down at the practice, I kind of get bored. I look for things to do. But at, at the practice, there's always things to do. Good girl. No bark. She's being very good. It's like Bailey, doesn't it? Is that Bailey boy? Starting to get a little warm. Give her a drink when we get back to the car. Gabby gets older, our walks are going to get a little bit shorter, especially in the warmer weather. She's got a pretty heavy fur coat there, and uh, she's, uh, we don't really know her real age, but she's above 10, we believe. She's doing really well, taking her supplements, and her hearing and vision are still really on target. Um, but, like all dogs and all people, we get old and we break down and dogs do it at a much, much, much more accelerated rate than we do, sadly. 
but uh, I'm happy to get out here when I can with her. Make these walk with us videos. I know they're not being watched by hardly any people, but that's all right. This is my memory of Gabby when she passes on. She's going to be immortalized on YouTube the rest of uh, time. And I guess in some ways I will be too. But that's not quite as exciting. So we're back at the dog paddy wagon. Need to go pee? Need to go potty? One last time. Pussy boys. Pussy boys? Let me get you a drink. Stay. Get some more when we get back home. Drink. Gabby. Gabby. Drink. Good girl. Drink more. Drink more. Oh. Careful. Are you done? You don't want no more? Drink? No more? Yeah, you want more. I want lots more. Look at that face. Look at that face. He's not girl. He's smiling. She's hot. Okay. One last time. Want a drink? No? Okay. Up. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today. We'll get her home to some AC, get her a nice drink, maybe some ice cubes, and uh, hope y'all have a good day. Tomorrow's a new work week, and uh, it's time to save one dog and one kitty at a time. Till then. <laughs>